So our next lecture is on acceleration. So whether we move by the power of our own legs, by train, plane, or car, we seldom move at a constant velocity. Either the speed changes or the direction changes. And when we have a change in speed or a change in direction, we have acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Uh, it's not often that we see uniform acceleration. Uh, we often see acceleration sort of changing in a non-uniform way. Uh, but uh, because we don't often see it, we, we, we usually use average acceleration in, in uh, uh, introductory physics courses in order to uh, make analyses of motion. So acceleration, uh, you may want to copy this. It's the rate of change of velocity per unit time, and it is a vector quantity. Now you might have heard the term deceleration. That is uh, the slowing down of an object. Uh, that is really just a negative acceleration but uh, the, both terms are, are acceptable. So average acceleration is your change in velocity divided by a time period. So the units for it would be meters per second per second or meters per second squared. So here we have our average velocity, it's the, uh, sorry, our average acceleration, it's the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time period. Um, you might see uh, um, our initial case uh, sometimes given a one, a subscript one, and the final case sometimes given a subscript two. I use them a bit interchangeably. Other times you see F and I. Um, and on this page you also see the uh, acceleration triangle. Uh, the delta V is your uh, change in velocity. Um, when we look at our triangle, A would be V over T, V would be A times T, and T would be V over A. So we'll look at a few examples. Here we have a motorbike starting from rest. It undergoes uniform acceleration. It would reach a velocity of 21.0 uh, meters per second north in 8.4 seconds. So to find the average acceleration in this case, it's simply 21 divided by 8.4, and that would give you 2.5 meters per second squared. The direction would be the same as the direction of velocity, so that would be north. Another problem, uh, here we have a cyclist initially traveling at 14 meters per second south. They slow down and stop in four seconds. So what's the cyclist's average acceleration? So this one here I'll do on, uh, on the screen here. <clears throat> so we have our average acceleration. Uh, sorry. All right. Let me just get the camera working there. A equals V over T, uh, and that's delta V. So our delta V is our final velocity minus our initial velocity over time. Our final velocity is zero because we're stopping. Our initial velocity is 14 meters per second south. And the time we travel is four seconds. So a negative vector is the same as the positive of that vector when we change the direction. So instead of being 14, uh, negative 14 south, we'll make that positive 14 north divided by four. And 14 divided by four is 3.5 meters per second squared north. That's how we would calculate that. Another question, we have a hockey player hitting a hockey puck. Uh, the puck uh, was initially traveling eight meters per second north and then it changes to a velocity of 10 meters per second south. And this occurs over a very short time period of 50 milliseconds. What's the average acceleration of the puck? So we'll do this one the same way. A equals delta V over T. Uh, my delta V is my VF minus my VI. Now, I like to, uh, when I'm showing substitution, I like to put uh, uh, round brackets to show 
a substitution. So my final velocity is 10.0 south. And I'm going to substitute in the VI, which is 8.0 north. Square bracket for the direction, round bracket to show that I'm substituting. And this is in 0 0.050 seconds. Well, my, uh, as I was saying before, if I have, I'm subtracting uh, uh, north, um, if I change this to a positive, it's the same as changing that to the opposite direction. So this is equivalent to 10.0 south plus 8.0 south over 0 0.050. And uh, <clears throat> I'll bring up our calculator because that's going to be, uh, oops, I got to turn the calculator on, 10 plus 8 divided by 0 0.050 is 360 meters per second squared in the south direction. And let's look at the next problem here. And this is our last problem. It says a racehorse takes 2.7 seconds to accelerate from a trot into a gallop. Uh, if the horse's initial velocity is 3.61 meters per second east, and it experiences an acceleration of 2.77 meters per second east, what is the final velocity of the racehorse? So, um, here we have, uh, we have to find our velocity. Our velocity oops, is equal to our acceleration times our time. The acceleration is 2.77 um, and this is in the east direction. The time is 2 point, sorry, it says it takes uh, 2.7 seconds, 7, 0. Um, so this is actually our, our change in velocity. Our change in velocity becomes, um, let's turn the calculator on, 2.77. Multiplied by 2.70, we have a velocity of 7.479, a change in velocity. I won't write the units yet because this is not a, um, <clears throat> this problem is not done yet. Um, that is our change in velocity. We have to add that to our initial velocity. So um, our VF is the VI plus the delta V. And our VI in this case is uh, 3.61. Uh, I should actually add east here. Uh, 3.61 east plus 7.479 also to the east. And when I add those together, I end up with 11.089 um, and I will, um, I'll just round that to 11.1 uh, meters per second to the east. Now I just want to try this problem one more time. I'm going to show you how to solve it a bit of a different way. Um, another way to look at this is uh, uh, there are five equations of motion. Um, we will get into this in, I think, the next lecture or one of our future lectures. Um, in this case, uh, VF is equal to VI plus AT. So if I need to find my final velocity, it's the same as my VI, which is 3.61 east plus my acceleration 277 east times my time 2.70 and <clears throat> let me do this entirely in my calculator now um, this is 3.61 
plus 2.77 times 2.7, I end up with the same value, I'll round it to 11.1 .1 meters per second east.